Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. Mm -hmm. Today we will be talking about a few subjects, but first we want to introduce our special guest. Yes. Hi. We have Dakota Hendricks here from the Missouri Veterans Home in St. James. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Everyday CNA. We will have some chat time with her later in the show. So be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> The first that we want to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day. We hope your day was special with your children. Next is National Third Shift Day. This falls on May the 11th and which is tomorrow. It's a day to say thank you to everyone working throughout the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We have some tips um, how to make night shift work for you. Number one, listen to your body. Your body knows what it needs. Number two, give yourself time to adjust. You, we could sugarcoat this for you, but we're not. The first week or the first month will be brutal on your body. So give yourself time to adjust before giving up. Dakota, have you ever worked night shift? I know MBH has an awesome night shift. I have not. I've only worked mornings and evenings. Okay, and then number three, get the right accessories. Wear a sleep mask or earplugs. Buy some blackout shades for the windows. Mm -hmm. They say something about the blue light will keep you awake and everything can affect your eyesight. Well, I know when I used to work night shift, when I try to go to sleep in the bed, I couldn't. But if I step on a, sit on the couch and watch TV, oh, I'm asleep, you, you know. Could. So, Number four, stick with a routine. Going to bed and getting up at the same time. Try to at least get seven hours of sleep. And number five, try taking a melatonin. Melatonin is a chemical produced naturally in your body to trigger sleep and help regulate your body clock. Now, I've took that before and it does work. It, it didn't work for me. It didn't work for mm -hmm. you? It does me. I don't know, my body, my, my brain just. <laughs> <laughs> just don't shut up. <laughs> and then number six is stay away from the screen. Put your phones away and shut that TV off. Number seven, try to stay cool. Keep the temperature two to three degrees cooler than you would normally have it. And number eight, limit caffeine. Stop caffeine drinks after 2 a.m. We hope some of these tips can be useful to you. Let us know. Now that Dakota has a, had a chance to tell in, let's have a chat. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell us just a little bit about yourself? Um, I started working as a CNA right after high school, around the summertime when I turned about 18 years old. Um, I didn't really want to, but my dad made me do it, so. <laughs> but, but I had a lot of fun. It's been rough, but it's been good. Yeah. Well, good. So what did you think about the CNA Fizz? Oh, I loved it. It was so nice. It was nice to get out of my element and meet new people. It was a good experience. It was. It makes you feel good. Like yeah. when you come back to work, like it's just uh, all the experiences. You feel energized and, the, mm, and ready mm. to do it again. You're ready to tell everybody and mm -hmm. just get them on the same page. Get you kind of pumped up. So yeah. I know you said that your dad made you do it. So I was gonna. my next question was going to be, why did you become a CNA? Well, okay, since your dad made you do it, now what do you think about actually being a CNA? How do you feel about it? Um, Are you happy that? he yeah, talk I, you into it? I am happy that I am a CNA. It's yes. not what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I took the CNA class for veterinary medicine yes. and then I, th they did not teach that. Yes. <laughs> <But> when, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but once I got into it, it was really fun. Mm -hmm, I really enjoyed mm -hmm. it. Good. Yep, I know. Cause well, I hear a lot of good things from you from oh. the rumor mill. That, oh, well, thank yes. you. That, yes, <laughs> your peers and everything really look up to you and, okay. and what you do there at the home. This next question is um, maybe kind of hard for you to answer, so if you feel uncomfortable, we can skip it. But it's, um, what is or what was your hardest thing to do working during this pandemic? Uh, the COVID unit, for sure. The isolation unit was really hard. Was that your choice to volunteer to yes, do that? I did volunteer to go back there. Um, wish we didn't have to stay back there that long, but it was all right. It's good. Were you afraid to go to work at any time? I wasn't really afraid to go to work. It was more I was scared to go out and like buy groceries and stuff like that because I didn't know what I was bringing home or to work. Yes. Right. So you just the fear of, of spreading mm -hmm. it. Well, that's awesome that um, you volunteered to do that, to work that unit. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we want to say thank you to all night shift CNAs for keeping our elders safe for the night. Dakota, thank you for spending some time with Corinne no and I. No problem, it's fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to have her back on the, the show again. Um, make sure to subscribe and like the show. Um, leave us a comment. And uh, thank you, Dakota, mm -hmm. for being on the show with us. And uh, we'll see you next time right here on KNL Everyday CNA.